it's it's we, we need to kind of kind of get over the idea of competition, a competitive causal schema when viewing our redemption. That our Lord, this is the way God functions all throughout salvation history. He delights in using intermediaries. He uses angels, he uses prophets, and he makes himself present in holy people and makes his message known through prophets. In fact, rarely does God speak directly. He speaks through these intermediaries. So it's, it's almost no surprise, I think, that when he sends his son to as the fullness of revelation and to you know complete it there's a sense in which it passes through the mediation of others through the cooperation so like we could also say why was mary asked to be the one to bear the redeemer of the world isn't that putting a lot of kind of you know responsibility onto a creature yet god delights in doing that because he delights in exalting us his creation so the glorification of man is not to the detriment of the glory of god it's the glorification of man within the glory of God. You know, Adam and Eve wanted to be God without God, but we are glorified by being united to God as St. Uh, Irenaeus or Tertullian. The glory of God is man fully alive. So the idea of like approaching Jesus through Mary, it's one of these things that like, it's, it's a mark of the fullness of Catholic piety. You know, the language that the church uses is always almost like devotional. You know, it's, it's about... It's not that like we can't be saved. And I had this debate, I remember at the NAC, I think you can be saved without devotion to Mary. And yet hopefully this whole talk is saying, be devoted to Mary, you know, cause it's better, it's better. In the kingdom of Israel, you had a better chance of getting your wish granted by approaching the king through the queen, for example. And it's kind of, it's like a softening of the, the distance between us and the height of the king. So, you know, Christ is bridges the gap between heaven and earth because he's God made man. But then we have someone in the figure of Mary who's a little bit closer to us because she's human who's been divinized, as is our destiny. So, yeah, it's hard to, it, it's, it's something to pray about. I think that's the only thing. It's about being comfortable with the idea of a spiritual family. Um, and that just, it's not that uh, it's a strict necessity, but it's that God loves to speak to us and save us through mediation. I don't think you can take away the niggling in the back of your mind. That only comes with prayer and time. It's a fear. And that's not like, why do we have a fear? You know, devotion to Mary is not an obstacle to our love for Christ. And it's about coming to a deeper appreciation of that experientially.